Hello lovely people, Mr. Rusty's here, it's another chilly day in Cheshire here. Now, with the John Rock. So, I was trying to do a bit more research yesterday into the Counted Thread Society of America, let's call it by its proper name. Uh, and I've managed to buy, although they're going to come over from the state, so I don't know whether they'll get there in time for the magazine. I bought the first kind of five issues of their newsletter, which started in late 1974. So, it's just marginally older than me, and it was started in Denver, Colorado. I could probably spend a bit more time looking at the images on eBay, but I might just, well, hopefully the magazines will traverse the globe in short order and I'll be able to actually have a proper look at them and maybe scan them in. And I feel like I'm onto a bit of a loser because when I do Google searches of the County Thread Society of America, there's nothing but either copies of the magazines being sold in places. And then I feel that because it was kind of hand typed hand drawn thing, from someone in Colorado in 1974. I feel like the chances of that person still being alive and then being able for me to like email them or something is slim. But nevertheless, when the magazines get here, I'll have a look through, share them, do something to make mention of them because I think it's kind of sweet. And it's clear from, you know, other people that most of the earliest magazines you're gonna find are like from the 1980s and stuff like that, so. I'll persist. I also hats off to Lord Liberdan, all right, big fella, um, who's done an excellent article on Rosie Greer that's going to go in the magazine. That saved me a load of work, <laughs> so that's good. And the end result is still the same. I've got a dilemma, people. Let me know what you think about this. Uh, obviously, video games were kind of invented in the 70s, a few ones, Pong, Space Invaders, that sort of thing. I managed to get a really brilliant pixel art design of a Space Aiders arcade game that was done by a guy called Army of Trolls, and he did it back in 2010. I emailed him, and he's gladly let me have it. And we've converted it into a cross-stitch pattern, and I want to put it in the magazine, but um, the actual arcade game didn't come out until the 1980s. Bollocks. So I feel like, yeah, I feel like I have to hold firm to my own integrity, even though it's a good design. I think I might just have to put it into the mixtape at the end of the year instead. Uh, which I've done with several designs this year because, I don't know whether I've mentioned this, the next theme, it was going to be ink, it was going to be like literature and tattoos and stuff, but there weren't very many designs forthcoming, so I've pivoted. The theme of issue 16 of X Stitch magazine is going to be cute. <gasps> A cute cross stitch magazine. <gasps> by the world's best cross-stitch magazine. <gasps> a cute edition, can you believe it? Yeah, so we're going for X-Stitch Cute. I've already had, the, already had some interesting submissions. Uh, yeah, I kind of wanted to do a modern take on Cute. I'm not afraid to address that teddy bear in the, in the woods. No, that's not an analogy. I'm not afraid to address that cuddly elephant in the room. So we'll do a Cute edition and it'll be sickly sweet, hopefully. Um, so yeah, so there's quite a few designs that were submitted for ink. They're going to end up in the mixtape at the end of the year. And I feel like the right thing to do to hold my integrity is to move Space Invaders to then. And then somewhere down the line, maybe next year, maybe the year after, do a 1980s edition that will be rad. Um, but yeah. In fact, now that I've spoken to you guys about it and I've had your feedback, I feel like that's probably what I'm going to have to do. So I just hope I've got enough. I need to try and get at least 15 designs in each issue. And hopefully, I've achieved that. <laughs> anyway, it's a cold day, and because of the way this whole, you know, like, the way touchscreens work, because they use your electromagnetic field, and all of those sorts of things, so if you're clever, you've got a glove with a little bit of metal thread in it, so that you can still work. I've not done that, so now, holding my phone like this, I've got one very cold hand. So I'm just going to stop for today. I love you guys, thanks for being with me. I'll speak to you soon. Take care.